Hey, what's up guys? Hope you guys are doing well and welcome to Genesis Learning. My name is Noel and I'm one of the certified and expert trainers here at Genesis Learning. Here in this channel, we do a lot of strategies that are required to help ACE in your IELTS, PTE or your OET examinations. So if you're new here, do consider subscribing to our channel. So if you are a person who is looking for any of these trainings, feel free to log on to our website www.mygenesislearning.com. So in today's class, what we're going to do is I'm going to start off with the ILTS or the IELTS. It doesn't matter how we pronounce it because it's an acronym. Okay, so we're trying to go in a very structured way so that it will help anyone and everyone who is watching this video. Whether you are a person who has no idea about IELTS or you're a person who's just looking for some information about IELTS, if you're just considering writing the IELTS, this will be the perfect video for you. All right, so let's get started. Now, the IELTS is basically the International English Language Testing System. It's an examination that is being done to check how good you are in the English language. It is co-owned by the Cambridge University, the British Council, and also the IDP Education. All three of them jointly own it. All right. And there are two types of the IELTS examination. One, the academic version, which is for the students who are looking to study outside. Then you've got the general version. The general version are for those people who are just looking for maybe some jobs in some Western or English speaking countries or just for some migration purpose. So the first thing that you have to realize or you have to understand is which type of IELTS exam you have to write, either the academic or the general version, okay? There's not much of difference between both of them, but there's a slight difference and I will tell you everything that you need to know. You can book your examination either through the British Council or the IDP. It just doesn't matter where you book it through because the syllabus, the testing, everything is the same. The question papers are also the same. So don't stress over that part as well. The IELTS basically tests two skills. One is your receptive skill and the other is your productive skill. What do I mean by that? Receptive skill means how much you can understand or how much you can receive of the English language. And how they test it? They test it by the listening and then the reading. Now, when you talk about the productive skills, there are two methods how they check your productive skills. Productive skills means how much you can give out of the English language. And they do it through one, your writing, and two, your speaking. So you've got your receptive, then you've got your productive. Listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Now let's start with the first module, which is the listening. Firstly, the listening, let me start with how long it is and what happens in it. When you go to the examination, the IELTS examination, this is going to be your first section. You'll be seated, you'll get a headphone, you'll put it on and you'll get a couple of instructions and then an audio will be played. When that audio is played, you've got a question paper and you have to answer the questions as you hear the audio. This audio will go on for a total of 30 to 40 minutes. It will not be replayed, it will not be paused, so make sure you listen attentively. After the 30 minutes, you will get 10 minutes to transfer these answers to an answer sheet. Okay, at that time, you can easily, slowly transfer it to the answer sheet. Okay, there are four sections in the listening. The first section is going to be a conversation, a conversation between two people. Okay, it can be about anything. It can be about, say, travel. It can be about maybe filling a form or filing a complaint or anything of that sort. But two people will be talking to each other. Okay, then you've got your section two. In section two, this is going to be a bit more difficult than the first one, and it's going to be a monologue. Monologue means just one person talking. 
So it can be, say, uh, somebody is talking about some local facility or some lecture or anything of that sort. The third is going to be a conversation. This is going to be a bit more harder. Two people are going to be talking. Two, maybe three, maybe four. It can go on. It can be, say, for example, about some university students or maybe a professor giving an idea to the students about, um, say, your deadlines or anything, you know. But it will be mostly in an academic context. The fourth and the final section in the listening will be a monologue. Monologue means one person will just be talking. And this time it will be in the academic context. So there are four sections in the increasing order of difficulty. Section one, then two, then three, and four. Now there are different question types for your listening. There is a multiple choice wherein you've got a question and then you've got multiple answers, you have to choose one. Then you've got matching, where you have to match certain information. You've got some map labeling, wherein a map will be there and you have to label where you are. Then you've got maybe a table where you have to fill up certain things. Then you've got a sentence completion, like you have to fill in certain gaps in the sentence. Or else it can be a short answer, like a question and one word answer. So these are the different six types of questions that you can get for your listening. Clear? Cool. Now let's move on to the second type, which is the reading. As soon as you finish your listening, you move on to the reading. Now in the listening, the timing is managed by the audio. But in the reading, you have to manage your own time. You will get a total of one hour and there are three sections in the reading. So you have to spend approximately 20 minutes for each section. Now, it can be harder, like in the increasing order of difficulty, sometimes it's not, okay? But the main thing here is there's a small difference between the academic and the general. In the academic version, whatever reading passage that you get, is going to be something that is more into the academic context. However, in the general one, what you see is more in the general category. That is the only difference. The question types are same, the time duration is same, every single thing is same. The different question types, let me get into that. There are around 11 different question types for your reading. You've got multiple choice, you've got True, false, not given. That is, a statement will be given to you and then after that you have to say whether that is true, false, or not given according to the passage. Not what you think, but according to the passage. Then you've got the writer's claims or popularly known as a yes, no, not given. Then you've got matching information, matching headings, matching features, matching sentence endings, then sentence completion, summary or a table completion, diagram, and lastly, short answer. All of these come in the reading. So remember, you just, you will get a couple of passages, you read it, and you answer the questions. That's it, it's as simple as that. Now the main thing is you have to get familiarized with the different question types. Because only if you get familiarized with it, can you understand how to solve it. The next one is your writing. As soon as you finish your listening, then your reading, then you move on to your writing. Now here also, you have to manage your own time. There are two sections here. The first section, or popularly known as task one, you should spend around 20 minutes and write an essay or a letter. For the general one, it is going to be a letter, general exam, for your academic one, it's going to be more of an essay. I wouldn't say a full-length essay, but I would say, yeah, kind of an essay, okay? And for the general, like I said, a formal or an informal letter. For the academic one, it can be a pie chart, a bar chart, um, a line chart, um, map, process, flow chart, anything can come in. 
The academic one, there are different variety of question types. Now, the task one, like I told you, it lasts for 20 minutes and you have to write around 150 words. As soon as you finish that, then you move on to your task two. Your task two is going to be the same, be it your academic or your general, it's going to be the same. And here also you've got eight different question types and they are double question. And then you've got, do you agree or disagree kind of question? You've got, what is your opinion? Then discuss both views, discuss both views and give your opinion. Let's talk about the advantages, disadvantages, then advantages, disadvantages, and give your opinion. Then you've got your problems and solutions. So eight different question types. For this task, you will get around 40 minutes and you have to write at least 250 words. This is a big one. The weightage is one third for your task one and two thirds for your task two. So you have to focus more on your task two. Now, I've told you about different question types in your listening, reading, and your writing. Here, now sometimes you might get very confused and overwhelmed, like, oh my goodness, I've got a lot of things to learn. Well, yes, you do have a lot of things to learn, but I've got some good news as well. The strategy or the method that you follow is almost the same. So if you've mastered it, you can use the same thing again and again and again. And that's what we do here at Genesis Learning. We make sure that we teach you the right strategy that is needed to get a fantastic score. We've got everything covered in our detailed lectures. So you don't have to worry about it. And we break it down step by step. And as soon as we finish the lecture, we give you a lot of assignments and then you can give it to us for correction. We will check it and we will tell you how to improve yourself and what mistakes you have to avoid. So don't worry, we've got that covered. All right, brilliant. So the listening, the reading and the writing, all three of it happens on one day. You start and you stop. So it might be around maybe two hours, 45 minutes, all the way up to three hours. You know, that's a total duration. And this happens on one day, in one sitting. After this comes the last part, which is the speaking. The speaking happens on a completely different day than the other three. It can come either before your exam or it can come after your exam. What happens in the speaking? You will go to an examination hall and you'll have a one-to-one -one conversation with an examiner. A person will be there with you and he or she will ask you a couple of questions and you have to answer it. There are three sections in your speaking. First section is going to be just a brief introduction about yourself. We're just going to ask you some random questions. It can be something quite simple. It can be about any topic. Then you've got a cue card, the section two, wherein you're going to get a topic and you have to prepare for it for a minute and then you have to speak on that topic for the next two minutes. And then you go to section three. In section three, you've got some questions that they will ask you concerning your part two. So say for example, your cue card, your part two was about your favorite spot. So in the part three, your discussion, they will ask you lots about spots. They will not go into technical details, but it's going to be very general. Now, this entire conversation is going to last between 11 to 14 minutes. That's it. So 15 minutes, you have to leave an impression on your examiner. They will be recording every single thing that you are saying, and that will be used for your evaluation. Brilliant. Now, let's go on to the last part about scoring. In the IELTS, you are scored from 0 to 9. This is called a band score. Okay, and you've got zero to nine for your listening, zero to nine for your reading. The same thing applies for your writing and your speaking. And then eventually you will get an overall score. This overall is, I wouldn't say it's an average, but it's kind of close to an average. So in most of the places where you go, they will ask for you to get a certain amount of score in each different module or band. 
Okay, so zero being a limited or very bad user all the way up to a nine, which is an expert user. Okay, so now we here at Genesis Learning are a bunch of enthusiastic and passionate teachers who have come together to help out numerous students. We have all taken the IELTS examination and we have all got an expert score. Like I, for instance, I have taken the IELTS and I've got a nine in my listening, my reading and my speaking, and I've got an eight in my writing. And I'm, so my overall has become an 8.5 out of nine. And just like me, all the other trainers here, we are all very experienced in the IELTS. The materials that we use on our website, everything is authentic. That's how we prepare our tutorials. That's how we prepare our assignments. Our syllabus is always updated. We like to keep changing our syllabus because everything is changing. The examination is changing. The pattern is the same, but the questions are changing. So every time we make sure we update our syllabus and our teachers keep taking the exam so that we are giving the best to each student. Whew. Thank you so very much for sticking uh, with us for the past around like around 20 minutes. And we finally reached the end of today's video. Thank you so very much for sticking around. And I hope you've got some value out of this video. And if you have, hit that like button and encourage us. Let us know what you think about this video or if you want to know anything, drop it in in the comment section. And if you have got a fantastic idea as to what IELTS is all about, then please don't be selfish. Go ahead and share it with all your friends. Just hit that share button and spread the message to everyone. And now after this, what we're going to do is we are going to get into detail. We've got a series of lectures coming up. I'm going to talk about all every different thing um, in your listening, reading, writing and your speaking. So do stay tuned, subscribe to our channel and stay updated till we meet again. Stay home, stay safe. This is your tutor, Noel, signing out. Ciao.